In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to download and install Forge 1.19 from Minecraft 1.19 and not only how to install Forge, but also how to fix the Java installation so you don't have any trouble while installing Forge. So let's get started. Step number one is to click the first link in the first pinned comment. I'm going to leave a pinned comment. I'm not putting the links in the description anymore because YouTube is giving me some trouble with links in the description. So for now, it's going to be on the first comment. Go ahead and click on the first link, which is going to bring you over here to this website called Files Minecraft Forge. And in here, we're going to download Forge 1.19. As you can see, 1.19 should come up automatically if it doesn't though you could come here to the left side and look for the version that we're downloading obviously for this case it's 1.19 so just go ahead and click on it go ahead and select the version and then we're going to download the installer click on the installer right here that is going to redirect you to this page where you're not going to click anything very important that you just wait five seconds until the top right corner says to skip let's just go ahead and wait for that until it says to skip as you can see the bottom turns red and says to skip click on it and that is going to immediately start the download for the installation of forge 1.19 we are going to drop that file into the desktop for safekeeping you could go ahead and drop it anywhere you want by default it downloads to your downloads folder but we're going to put it on the desktop for now now we cannot directly install forge 19 in order to install forge 1.19 we need to install java 18 first because java 18 is required for any version of minecraft above 1.16.5 specifically any modded version of minecraft and since that is what we're doing in this tutorial we're going to click on the second link in the pin comment remember go to the comments pin comment second link which will bring you over here to this website where we're going to download java 18 Go ahead and scroll down until you find Java 18. Then select Windows down here and we're going to download the x64 installer. Very important that you download this installer because these other installers right here might have some other softwares. You only want the x64 installer. So go ahead and select that installer and click on the download link right here is the middle one. Go ahead and click on that and that is going to immediately start the download for Java 18. Well, for the installer of Java 18 that we need to install after. Once you finish downloading, we're going to drop it into the desktop as you can see right here. And now we cannot directly install Java 18. I know that's what you want to do, install Java 18, but no, first we need to download a jar fix because some of you might not have this cup showing or when you click on it it might not work so go ahead and click on that third link in the pinned comment which is going to bring you to this website it should look something like this and then you're going to click on download we're going to download a jar fix jar fix is going to fix our java installation so go ahead and click on this jar fix.exe right here that is going to immediately start the download for jar fix and yes we're going to drop it into the desktop as well let's go ahead and drop that into the desktop we could go ahead and close all the websites for now and now before we install java 18 we need to make sure we get rid of any older version of java in our computer so go ahead and click on search and click add or remove programs as you can see right here and we're going to get rid of the older versions so we could update to the 18th version click on the search list and type java once we type java in the search list we're going to find that we have java for many of you java 8 will show or java 7 or maybe even java 17 i do recommend that you install java 18 and get rid of any other java installations that you have so if you have java 8 and you notice that java 18 is not working go ahead and click on here and click on install until you only have java 18 that is my recommendation because many of you will have a java runtime problem if you don't fix the installation for java 18. anyways once we only have java 18 we should have no trouble and now we can run the jar fix go ahead and double click on the jar fix in the desktop once you double click on that jar fix it's going to ask you for administrator's permission jar fix is completely safe and you could go ahead and allow it and then jar fix is going to give you this little screen right here which means that jar fix has run successfully go ahead and click on okay now we could delete the jar fix because we don't need it anymore and now we could finally install java so go ahead and double click on jdk 18 for windows that is also going to prompt you with administrator's permission go ahead and allow it and for me it says that this software has already been installed on my computer because I have installed it already, but I'm going to reinstall it so you can see what it's going to look like for you. Right now, it's going to remove it from my computer and then it's going to bring up the installation. And the installation is what you're going to get it straight up. This is what you should get right away if you don't have Java things installed already. Anyways, once we have this screen right here, we're going to click next and we're going to click next. Feel free to change the installation folder. However, I do recommend you leave it as default and then click next and then let it install. Installing Java is a fast, simple process. It should take no time. So let's just wait for that to finish installing. So you can see it's going really fast and within like 20 seconds java has finished installing so i'm going to go ahead and click on close and now we could even delete the java 18 installation go ahead and delete that and now you might think you're ready to install forge 1.19 but you're not first we need to run minecraft 1.19 at least once on our computer so let's go ahead and do that launch your minecraft launcher go ahead and launch your minecraft launcher and make sure you select the latest release 1.19 and go ahead and click play that is going to launch our minecraft we need to do that at least once so if you already launched minecraft 1.19 in your computer at least once you are free to skip this part
once Minecraft 1.19 has opened at least once, you could go ahead and quit the game. And now we're finally ready to install Forge. Go ahead and double click on the Forge installation, which is going to bring up this little screen right here. And we're going to select install client. Make sure you install the client. We're not making a server or anything like that for now. Let's go ahead and click OK. Also, I'm going to post a tutorial probably tomorrow on how to make a Forge server. So make sure you stay around for that tutorial tomorrow. Anyways, once we select install client, go ahead and click on OK. And the client is going to install. It's actually not that long. It's probably going to take around 20, 30 seconds, depending on your computer. For me, it is usually really fast, as we can see right here. It's almost done. Let's just wait for that to say that it has finished installing. There we go. Successfully install client profile. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And that means that Forge has installed successfully. Let's go ahead and launch Minecraft Launcher once again. And I'm going to show you how to find Forge because for some of you, Forge might not come up automatically. Let's wait for that to load. As you can see right here, my Forge came up automatically. I have Forge 1.19, so I'm free to download mods now and play modern Minecraft. But for some of you, that is not going to be the case. So what you're going to do is click on installations right here on the top, and you're going to make sure you selected modded, because sometimes if we don't have modded selected, the modded versions of Minecraft won't show. And if it's still after you click modded, Forge doesn't show, go ahead and click on new installation, and you can name this whatever. I'm going to name it Forge 1.19. Oops, 1.19. And then where it says latest release, make sure you select Forge. So we're going to look for that. Let's go, scroll down until we find Forge 1.19. Just look for Forge 1.19. As you can see, as you can see, mine is right here on the top, release 1.19 Forge. But maybe you have to scroll all the way down, just find 1.19 Forge, and that is it. Now I'm going to change the icon so you guys could recognize it. I'm going to put this cake and then click create right here on the bottom left. And as you can see, Forge 1.19 was created. That is another way you could find Forge in case it doesn't come up automatically. But usually for most of us, it's going to come up automatically. How do we know if Forge was installed properly? Let's go ahead and click on play. First of all, since you're playing a modded version of Minecraft, we're going to make sure we understand the risk. Go ahead and click on it and then go ahead and click on play and let's just wait for that to launch so we're going to launch minecraft and this is how we're going to make sure or how we're going to check if we install forge properly let's go ahead and wait for that to load it says mod world edit requires minecraft 1.18 both okay as you can see i had world edit install let's go ahead and get rid of that and the way we know forge has installed well first of all right now it says forge beta so that means 1.19 forge is on a beta but the way we know forge is really installed is because on the bottom here it says mods loaded or did you say something like that it should say minecraft forge version or something like that as you can see it says the forge version here maybe it says minecraft modded actually i'm going to teach you real quick how to download mods just in case you want to install mods because What's the point of teaching you how to mod Minecraft if you don't know how to add mods? So the page I recommend is curseforce.com. I've been using curseforce for a very long time. So just go ahead and type curseforce.com in your browser. And that is going to bring you over here to this website. And then we're going to click on Minecraft right here. That is going to bring us over here where we have a bunch of different categories. We're going to select mods, okay? And here's a good part about this. The good thing is that you could select the version of Minecraft that we're downloading mods for, which is going to make it way easier since we're downloading mods for 1.19. Let's go ahead and select 1.19 in here. I'm going to scroll down until we find Minecraft 1.19, as you can see right there. And that is going to to take all the mods that are not compatible with 1.19 out. For this tutorial, I'm going to download journey map so you guys can see how to add the journey map. Let's go ahead and click on the mod. Let's go ahead and click on journey map. That is going to bring us to journey map page. In here, we're going to scroll down until we find Minecraft 1.19 on the right side, and we could directly download it through here. Or if we don't see Minecraft 1.19 on the right, we could click on files. If you scroll up, go ahead and click on files right here. Let's wait for that to load. And in here, we could scroll down until we find 1.19 in all the recent files. You could also click on view all and select 1.19, and that way you will get only the 1.19 versions. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and download the 1.19 right here on the right. So let's go ahead and click on that download file. It's going to bring us over here where in five seconds, the download will start automatically. Let's wait for that to download. And of course, like usual, I'm going to drop that file into the desktop real quick. Let's wait for that to finish downloading. When that blue thing goes away, that means it's fully downloaded. Now download it. Let's go ahead and drop it into the desktop. Now, the easiest way for me to add this mod into the game is to come to the Minecraft launcher, find the installation and click on the Forge folder right here. Right. So we click on Forge, click on this little folder that is going to open the folder for the installation of Minecraft. And then we could find a folder called mods. If you don't have that folder in there, you could create it yourself. Just right click new folder and type MODS, right? But we open that folder in here. I have the older Optifine. Let me get rid of that because 1.19 is coming out soon. Make sure you subscribe to learn how to do that later on. Anyways, we're going to drop 1.19 into this folder and that's it. We could launch our Forge. If you're ready in the game, you could do it through the game. And I'm going to show you how to do it through the game real quick. Let's go ahead and launch Forge real quick. If you're ready in game and you want to add the mods in the game, just click on this mods button right here and then click open mods folder and just drag the mods 
missing here but the thing is that you're going to have to close the game and relaunch it in order for the mods to load anyways let's prove that it works let me go ahead and launch this x-ray world yes i do have a tutorial on how to add x-ray to your minecraft you could go ahead and click on that it should be coming up on the top right now let's just wait for this to load and see if our journey map is loaded into the game and as we can see yes it is on the top right like i said if you want to learn how to add this x-ray i already have a video on that just go ahead and click on that but yeah we have journey map installed we click j we could see a journey map is installed and the mods work so this is modern minecraft 1.19 i hope you enjoyed this video and as always bye bye